allow me to take this opportunity to welcome you all again as the father of the house your excellency this is prophetic to me this is prophetic i have preached for over 35 years now and what i have been teaching and prophesying and telling people has practically happened to me <laughs> seeing a man i saw being a honorable member of parliament becoming a minister becoming a deputy president and also becoming a president when i am existing This is something that I should thank God for because I have seen it. Number two, Your Excellency, you came here, Okiwa Makamorais, and you sat exactly where you are seated. And you said you'll come again as those your daughters have addressed you. I am happy to see that you really do what you say. Nimekuwa nikiangalia naona tu kwa TV naona amenda 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 wakati mwingine kwa TV naona umeniangalia na mimi niko nyumbani tunaangalia na hivi naona anataka kuniambia bishop nakuja news inapelekwa kwa kitu kingine eh, sasa mimi nashindwa ha, hakubuki but i all knew that you remember us and you remember me we were here when things were so hot and we believe in god and we believed in god you preach to us the message is always fresh in our minds that seek ye the kingdom of god first na hayo mengine yatakufuata i still thought you'll be the preacher of the day lakini bwana faruk na kitonga pale wakanipeleka hivi kwanza kitonga sana pana kamwambia pana wacha huyu bwana afuhubiri mtu huyo mtu akiacha kazi 2027 Sasa tarudi huku kanisani tumpe tum, eh mtu ni mwijilisti lakini najua umechoka kazi uliyo nayo wakati huo sio ile uko nayo sasa you may not even have time to prepare the message but next time let us agree you'll be the speaker of the day the next time you'll visit us eh uh, si tukubaliana hivyo we all know he was an evangelist in hatotaki hiyo kitu ipotee kwa hivyo i'm say i cannot be able to express her, um, my joy Sometimes when I'm so happy I tend to be emotional. Like from I received that time I received a call that you are coming. I have never slept. I've been watching and waiting to see you come again being the president of Kenya now. Sio makamu the president himself. Na kwa hivyo sio kawaida to host the head of state. It's not easy. It is not easy. Na sio kawaida yeye kukutembelea na kuchagua kwake that I want to come and fellowship with my friend these have cemented our friend our friendship and we'll continue working with you and praying for you and supporting you anytime you need us as priesthood fellowship church we are there for you mr president we know sio rahisi si mambo ni mazito tunajua kama mimi ni bishop na hawa watu ndogo tu wamenikura kichwa karibu nianze ndawa za kupunguza protein <laughs> na wewe je kama saa hii mimi mwenyewe zile simu niko nazo nimetumwa kwako na marafiki ni zaidi ya 200 the requests i have for you na nikasoma zingine nikakuhurumia maana hata kuna mmoja yale aliniambia nimuombee kwako hata Mungu itamshinda <laughs> nikiti naweza shinda Mungu pia because god does not do a miracle in a single day If you need a miracle from God it's a process. There is a process of a miracle to happen. Hata kuzaa hawezi enda kwa kitanda na uzae leo leo utangoja 9 months. So I am sorry for you let me say I'm sorry. Sometimes nakuhurumia sana na kuangalia nasikia kwa news. Wakati mwingine hata sisi makasisi kwa madhabahu kuna wengine wetu tunainuka tunakurarua zaidi. Kabisa naona na ninaomba hata wao wenzangu tu tutulize tu. In my message today I want to address you Mr President because the 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 phone that I received from your office was you need to fellowship 
you need to hear the word of God. Na you need prayer. And that's what I'm going to do. Naona waheshimu marafiki zangu hapa. Mwashimua KJ. Kijana mwenzangu miaka mingi. Kwa art tumefika huku. Santi sana KJ kwa upendo huo mwingi wote. Mwashimua atakunja hapa. Appreciate mwashimua for me. Najua our own member of parliament. Ako hapa. Mwafrika kamande. Atafanya introduction ya wageni wote wengine. Ndiyo mimi nichukue na fasi yangu ya salmon. Lakini hayo yote siwezi kuzahau. Mwangi kiunjuri. My old friend. I have to acknowledge your presence here. Na karibu tena. And my brother from Nyandarwa. Murua Wagare. Our deputy DG Nyandarwa. Mama yake na mama yangu ni same age. And they share a name. So. I'm happy to see you, Deputy Governor Nairobi. Najua nyinyi nyote ni wengi, lakini MP wetu atafanya hayo baadaye. Allow me to preach to you and allow me to preach to myself. Because what I'm saying is not mine, it's God God has enabled me to say. In the Proverbs chapter number 4, verse number 23, this is a message that I have little preached for quite some time. But it has always been new to me. When I'm thinking of the artists who are here and media guys, Musijari ni tawa introduce for president later. I will acknowledge you later as I finish the sermon. But I, and let me preach. Let me say this not to keep him so anxious of what, what I want to tell him and what I want to tell Honorable KJ and the rest of the leaders that we have here. Keep your heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life. Nataka fashion ingine, hiyo ni fashion moja. Honorable KJ, ukiangare kwa screen hapa bela, you will see several fashions, and you will follow with me. Your Excellency, the Bible says, in the, in the, in the NIV version, mm. above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do, flows from it. I don't know whether you got me well. Tuende kwa kiswahiri, at whatever you do, in everything you guard, Guard your heart because whatever you have or whatever you do, whatever you possess, whatever you'll be will be determined by what is in your heart. Mm. So, kama roho imeharibika, maovu yanakugoja. Na usiburemu mtu, uburemu roho yako. Because whatever you have, linda moyo wako kuliko yote ulindayo, maana ndiko zitokako chemi chemi za uzima. Their life, the sources, the issues of life comes from the heart. One watu naona wakiwa watu ambaya, it's according to how their hearts are. And whatever you have today is, is because of the choice of your heart. Ata zira nguwa mevasa hai, ni zira roho yako ilichagua. So if you see you are not smart, blame your heart. Kama muna sugwana na bibi yako, ni moyo wako ulimpenda. Blame yourself. Not the church or the officiating pastor. Ni wewe. Because whatever decision you make with your heart, it is your heart. Kama unasubuli wa nabwana yako, it is the problem is heart. Domo ya wako ulikudanganya. And there are people, because I want to be very fast, they don't know how to guard their heart. How enjoy kuchunga miyo yo yao. You leave their heart open for people to attack you. Why did the King Solomon write about this? Because he knew one or two, three, four things. That heart is the most important thing in your body or in your life. Number two, heart is the source of whatever you decide or whatever you want to get. Heart is carrier of the dream. Heart is the carrier of the vision. Heart activates desire. So if you have problem from inside you, whatever you will attract will be bad. And that's why people say, Atisiaza, politics is a dirty game. Dirty game because some of the hearts in the politics are already dirty. That's why the game is dirty. But if the heart is okay, even pastors can be parliamentarians. Sinikwa <laughs> Yeah. It's a matter of heart. Mwangi kionjule mwashimua. Hatumra wakati tutakaa chini kama Kenya. Ati tukubari siyasa ni dati. Then if it's dati. Why do we have our leaders in a dati thing? That's an imaginary thing. That's something that's not there. 
It is not dirty. Politics is leadership that calls for a clean heart, a clear heart, a sober heart for you to speak sober words, sober statements, taking care of the other. Let me put it this way. Kwa munda kidogo tu, usi wa enda sana, tumekua tumekasirikiana zote. Hasira nyingi sijui kama mwafriko meona hivyo hasira, hata kwa barabara. Kupita mutu tu, na nikumpita, ni gari yake haina bio. Hukule kitu ugefanya, nasimu ugeovatek. Mutu wamekasirika, mbaka nainua kidore moja juu. Sijui ya hii, sijui ni hii, sijui kama ni hii, kama ni hii. Lakini wea unaona kidore, hameinua. So, why? Why are you angry for that? Na gari, na nikari yako mzee, ama yiko na mechanical problem. If I make this decision, na niamue nitakuwa nikika hii, why are you so angry with me? Because your heart has a problem. And especially ladies. Come on, make a chin in a lady. Look at the ladies. May God help your hearts. Mahana mioyo ya wanawake sijui. Come on, ni shetani na jenga my bedroom. Ama ni kupi in kitchens. Because as you are seated there, you can just hate your neighbor. Ju ya nyuere tu. Mwangari ya ifituwa na ire nyuere akonayo. Moyo ya ribike. Gue hiri ya mevaa. Kiatu. Yani, you can create and pick up war from nothing. Ama sivi wa dada. You hate each other for nothing. So tell your neighbor, guard your heart. Aha. Sasa nataka ajue kutoka sasa. Si wame mbaya. Ni moyo wake. Mbaya. My personality is whom I am. My attitude is what you are. Personality is what I am. Attitude is who you are. The way you take me is your attitude. But my personality is whom I am. And you cannot change me. So change your heart. You are the one who is having a problem. Where do you call Ashida? Ata kuyona kama ya hudi ye haifanye kazi. Sijui hatuna hii, hatuna hile. Shida. Niroho wako, niwewe. How you see things. And that's what I am telling you. To keep your heart good and flesh is for one thing. Because tomorrow there is hope. In God there is hope. And through the elected leaders. And through the vision of our president. Because he is here today. Allow me to keep on addressing him. Because through him, God will lead Kenya to somewhere. And through him, there is hope. And this hope is what we are hoping. We are hoping this hope every day. Every hopper, <laughs> if there is such an English, you know English is a growing language, you can create yours. <laughs> you can grow yours. Every hopper who is hoping has some qualities to possess. If you are hoping or keeping hope, then you must be healthy. You must be healthy. So that beyond this hope, will come to reality and the opportunity will get you ready to receive. Okay? We are talking about depression. I have my colleague here, Betu Amasharia. We are teaching depression every day. People are having depression. People are angry. People are sick. Now I'm asking you. Okay, I'm going to Opportunity to get kesho. We'll be able to partake. Haya, ukirukwa na kichwa. Opportunity to get kesho. Utaenda, utaweza kupartake. Haya, vijana. Mukikunywa pombe, muwe walevi na bangi, kesho opportunity iwe ya kuchukua jeshi, utakulifa ya kupina mbio. So, shida itakua nani? So, the secret is, if you are having any hope, keep your mind healthy, keep your body healthy, keep your heart healthy, holding in hope. Point number two, kama unachunga moyo wako, usingiwe na machuki, kama vile Biblia inasema katika kitabu cha Waemberania Waemberania sijui gapi njoro 12 there you can check for me inasema make sure that the grace of God does not dwell in you ama neema ya Mungu isiishe ndani yako na ili ndani yako kusije kukachipuka shina la uchungu kukachipuka nini shina la uchungu likaja kuasubua na ningetaka hapa viongozi wetu mshike hivi Ati wakati neema ya mungu inakupungukia Ndani yako kuna chipuka Shina la uchungu 
Shina la uchungu is arrow of bitterness. The arrow of bitterness will trouble you. That's what the Bible says. It will trouble you. So what you make sure you avoid is the falling short of the grace of God because when you fall short of the grace of God in you kutachipuka shina la uchungu. That's Hebrew chapter 12 verse number 15. Yes. Take care of yourself. Not to go short of the grace. Because in the absence of the grace is the arrow of bitterness. Shina la uchungu likitoka kwa mdomo wako you will speak bitterness. You will speak pain. You will speak curses. Na diyo maana unasikia kila mtu kisema nitaacha kitusi. Ya, nitaacha kasi. Niko utikira kirumi. Kwanza wakikuyu, nitaacha, nitaacha laana, nitaacha laana. Utakuta hata mtoto wako na kwa bia. Mami, nitakuatia laana na ni mtoto wako. Ati atakulani. Because shina la uchungu lisha ingia katika mioyo. Paka watoto anataka kulani mwarimu. Ati nikianguka hii mtihani mwarimu wa hezabu na muatia laana. Ukisimamisho na traffic police Kwa buwa hii migu ya gari meisha to the station Nita kurani Ukuwa pia lipa kodi Unasema mugu na nitumia kwa jia kubwa sana Nita nena na maraika ukufe eh, Yani <laughs> Tumengiwa na uchungu Shina na uchungu Maana the grace has fallen short We can read it together on the screen See, See to, it, to it That no one falls short of the grace of God and that no bitter root grows up to cause trouble and defile many. When the, arrow root, uh, the, the root of bitterness grows in you, you start causing trouble. Most of us are troublemakers. Your Excellency, sababu ni kwambia mimi wakati mwingine na kurumia, ni kwa sababu wakati mwingi sisi tumekuzunguka we are troublemakers. And we make trouble even when there is no trouble. Even when the patients were supposed to be applied, we apply trouble. Let us take opportunity. If you love me, na umenikuta ni kichunga roho yangu, pia wewe ni saindia kuchunga yangu. All the married people here, instead of hurting your hubby or your, your wife, be a candidate, be a be, uh, a proponent of guiding his heart. Na maanisha nini mwashimua? Kama wea ni rafiki yangu na nimekuta roho yako ni pole. Bora mimi ni kuharibu. Na ni waulize pia. Bora wewe uwe bise kuharibu roho ya mkeo. Bora wewe uwe diyo na haribu roho ya mmeo. He want to guard his heart. But in you, unapanda shina ya uchungu. Kama unanipenda, kuna mtu anasema anga na imba wimbo hivyo. Kama unanipenda, jaribu kuniparaha. The same case, the elected members na hasa watu wetu wa Mount Kenya. Kama unanipenda, president, jaribu ni kumparaha. He. Kumparaha. He. Nam. Kama mulichaguriwa na chama chake, jaribu ni kumparaha. Nam. Hakuna mapezi ya fujo, mapezi ya fujo, haifai. Kama wanipenda, jaribu Ekuzama Nimezama Dani ya mapenzi Siwezi Kusonga mbe Kurudi nyu Siwezi Kama wanipenda Jaribu kunipara Kama muna penda raisi wa tu Jaribu ni kumpara Eh Wakati anahafanya kasi Akisukuka Amerika Akisukuka Ukraine na France Jaribu ni Kumpara Maana tunaweza kumpea pressure Hakuna unga inaweza patika na one night Kuna process ya kupada, kukausha, kufuna You cannot make unga at one night We know we need it he know we need it. But kama tuwa mpenda, tujaribu kumpara. Na kumpara ha, ni kumpa time. Na kumpa time, ni kumu support. Na kumu support, ni kumu ambea. Lakini siyo kia kitu, kumu sukuma na maneno. Kumu sukuma na maneno. Kumu sukuma na msomo. Kumu msomea. Kumu msomea. Hayama penzi. 
Yafuyo Mama Trombenda Kwa hivyo ya KJ mimi uko hapa nimekutuma kwa wenzako Nyote ni marafiki zangu Nyote Na mwanajua mimi mmoja wenye huko Tujaribu Kumbara And to be time Kama watoto wamesimama hapa kumambia You said four years ago We have seen you Why? He has not finished a year Ama kama memaliza ni kidogo tu Dia hako irona kwa nmo hiki wa hikiria hede yo Da agira raji ya kuru taguwe bere ya muka Agira na adhoni Agira na adhoni Ono kwa nmo hiki wa hikiria hede yo No agira hodia tawa Da agira rete kira kuru taguwe Kwa ina victima No adhi ya adhi ya ni haka haruta Motikira ka Ono mo hiki ya kia bewa menye Kwa hodia tawa I was telling them your excellency was in the Kwamba. So in anything you do, guard your heart and also guard your other partner or friend or party's heart. Don't be so selfish that you only take care about your heart. Take care of your other heart. Chunga huya mwingine. Don't be busy. Ata kama ni mimi bishop wenyu. Usini haribu moyo. Apana. Mi na jaribu kuomba. Na jaribu kujifunga. Na weba uko hapo. Unani haribu moyo. Nyinyi watu wa kuandika magazeti. Ma Facebooka. Na wengine. Ukingia kuandika. Usini haribu moyo. Write something good that can make me feel good one day. Yes. We should avoid this nature of our people and most Africans becoming so good, becoming so so praised, having a very good history when they are dead. Because any eulogy and every eulogy that I have never seen, hakuna ikona blame, hakuna ikona accusation, zote ni sawa. Why are we becoming good when we die? We should start now, being good to each other, saying good about each other now. Abraham waliabia rutu Tusifurutane sisi ni mandugu Kama unataka kuenda chini, enda chini, mimi ni enda juu Kama unataka kuenda juu, mimi ni enda chini Simple Nisikia raisi ya mesema mahali juzi Nemeka na recho wake that two years Na wakasema siri ni kuavoid SMSs Wakati mgini ni nyingi Na zinatokanga kwa watu wanataka kubunja ndoa Did you hear him say so? Yes Kukana mutu that two years Haki ya mungu ni neema. Mimi ni mwangalia tu kasama mzae pokea pole zangu. Because marani nyingi za kufunjwa moyo. Hata kwa doa. Even my wife here. Sometimes I look at her. I ask God. Where did you bring this creature from? Sometimes I look at her. I see an angel. Why did you have to create for me such a beautiful queen? Sometimes I don't want to feel even to be near where she is. Unafikiri hata kikufa, hakuna kupada maua, ni kutafuta mipa na magua maze, uwe kere hapu. So living is about taking care of each other's heart and bearing with the weakness of the other person and trying to kupatia huyo mutu mwingine la. I feel your excellency today you feel loved, Benny Nikawa West again. You feel loved. I'm sure you feel loved. Na mimi ni kwambia kitu moja diyo ni malizie. KJ na juwa huta ni angusha. Na timu yetu ya kinales na wengine wa watu wa Mount Kenya. MK na wengine. Tukifanya kazi na ajeda ya mzae. Haki ya mungu. Si waombi kitu ingine. Mpe ni lahatu. Wacheni ya fry. Wacha relax. Iyo tu ndiyo ni mewaomba. Mwachimua kujuri. Tumperaha na tutaona kazi Even a happy woman cooks well A happy daddy comes home with goodies Where you are called daddy, daddy you come with goodies Lakini kama naitua wewe Osiyo, where you, you Uyo sukari hapa huta leta So it's upon you Misisi tulituma nyinyi Mulituenda, muru watuambia tuatume Basi kule tuliwatuma Pedekeni furaha Na nyinyi pia Muta enjoy Because you receive 
what you get is what you receive so today tulikubaliana na klaja wangu we are here just to make him happy and to make you happy and to make the other person seated to you happy and at this juncture angalia mwe nyingine muliyekaa na yeye muangalie tu mwambie just be happy help me to preach tell somebody just be happy mwambie just be happy hebu mwambie tu pokea hiyo kufurahi tu for me that clip as i finish joro kindly there is a clip i want you to put for me before then let me put it to you your excellency humbly kuna mwizi walisurubiwa na yesu pamoja pande hii na mwingine pande hii aliyekuwa pande hii akaanza kusomea yesu kamwambia wewe kama ni mwokozi sio jiokoe na uniokoe kwa nini wewe ulikuwa unafanya miujiza na umesurubiwa kama sisi wazinzi watu wa ushirikina kwani uko hapa na sisi si kama ni, ni mwokozi ujiokoe na utoke na wote wako kwa msalaba hivi naye huyo alikuwa pande hii akaambia yule wewe umekosea sana kumlaani huyu na kumkemea na kumfokea maana huyu hana hatia amesurubiwa bila hatia sisi na wewe tunafaa kuwa msalabani kwa dhabi zetu lakini huyu amehaja fanya makosa kaambia hi my friend umekosea sana mtu hafai kufanya hivyo Yesu amenyamaza tu hapa katikati huyo bwana alipomaliza kutetea Yesu akabia Yesu na kwa sababu umesikia video nimekutetea na wao kifika kule mambo ya kuwa gari bwana wewe nikuni kwa baba na mimi najua leo hii utakuwa status enda uangalie vile mimi nimekuangalia enda uniangalie ndio angalia ni nini tunaweza fanya na wewe sichazeeka sana sihubiri kila siku <laughs> Biblia inasema ufanye kazi siku sita <laughs> five or six days i work ukiona kiti iko empty mahali popote wewe kubuka hivyo nimenyorosha mambo yako na wewe yorosha mimi <laughs> na nitakuja tukunywe chai tukipanga hiyo maneno nikimalizia nikupe salamu za wingi kutoka watu wa shirika wetu wa Saudi Arabia. Tuko na washirika zaidi ya 1000. Wamenituma salamu za upendo mwingi kwako na wakaniambia unajua mambo yao na shida zao. Uangalie tu kama vile wanaweza kuwa safe working on a safe ground. Ukiwatembelea pia watafurahi na uwasaidie jinsi ya ku save pesa zao huku Kenya bila kuporwa na watu wengine. Hiyo ni ujumbe wa watu wa Saudi Arabia na Middle East. Nikatumwa koko na kanisa la online General Europe and America. Viongozi wao la Nesa Francis wa Aranet, wengine wanaitwa Liz na Esther. Team kubwa na Karothairo wamesema usalimiwe salamu nyingi za mapendo. Hapa Kenya Federation ya, vio, ya wa, viongozi wa kanisa inayoongozwa na Bishop Jiriri your friend wamenituma kwa salamu zako nyingi sana. Nikwambia wanakupenda and the church is very ready to work for you na tuliongea na wao we must talk to our members to be patient to hold on wakae ngumu kiasi we are making it there is hope there is hope so we are preaching that gospel and we will continue uh, saying so so as i finish up your excellency nasema nimeshukuru hizo dakika chache nimekubalika kukuongelesha na ninajua Maombi yangu umeyasikia sina mengi nitakuomba kwa leo isipokuwa ngalie mambo yangu. Mbodi ni nyingi mimi niko na uwezo. <laughs> I have experience. I've been media for more than 25 years. I I was what am I going to do? Hata mheshimiwa, kiojora ananijua. Na anajua uwezo wangu pande huu na mdomo wangu. Anajua. Garoya ni mtoto wetu tukushukuru sana tena kama kanisa kutuchukulia ngaroya akatulia alikuwa anatusumbua ukatuchukulia huyu mtoto ukampea kazi kwa ofisi yako na ya, ako na ofisi mbili na hapa tukamuongezea nyingine ako na tatu we thank you sincerely na uendelee kukaa na yeye mpaka awe mzee hata wakati tutakuwa kiondoka ofisi awe bado kijana na kuheshimu na kuletea mbuzi nyumbani unakula kama baba sasa so, hivyo ngaroya endelea nawe pia 
kama nampenda rais endelea kumpa raha mapenzi ya fujo hai fai asante sana your excellency your excellency tuseme kwa Kiswahili slogan yetu ni kwamba tumefurahia ujio wako maana ujio wako lazima uwe uko na baraka kwetu tuko na mengi tukipenda kukuomba mengine utaelezwa na hawa viongozi lakini ya kwangu ilikuwa kukupea hiyo neno na nikutume na salamu nyingi kwa mama yetu Rachel Kirudi nyumbani na mwambie tumemsaluti pia yeye kukaa na mtu that two years hata yeye apokee pole zetu <laughs> na mwambie tunaupenda ujio wake katika taifa hili kuwa na mama muombezi katika nyumba ya ufalme we are proud of the family may god bless her and may god bless your family and may god bless the work of your heart we pray that in any nation any kingdom that you approach for us anywhere you go may you be favored may you be favored by the great and the known so that you may bring big things for us mengine asante reverend sir mpigieni askofu makofi mazuri kindly continue doing it mpaka afike kwenye kiti mpigieni makofi mengine asante askofu ukiona wimbo umeimbwa na askofu bas huo wimbo umeingia kwenye kumbukumbu na torati za kikristo it's not a secular song again 